Yeah, this is a special uh, uh, person that I met many years ago when she was a, a little girl. I was the pastor for her family and for many years. And Carmina is uh, the Andres' uh, sister. She has been a blessing for us because she is uh, the, the, the bridge between the hospital and the family and to us and I think the rest of the world because uh, the Andres' uh, case is very known uh, not only in the United States, but for many other countries. We were uh, praying for him. And, um, and Carmina is with us because she's going to share with us uh, what happened in uh, her family. Welcome, Carmina. Tell us your testimony. Thank you. Good evening to, your, to you all. Um, thank you, Pastor Agüero. And um, thank you for the opportunity you've given me to share the miraculous story of my brother. Um, Andy, as we affectionately call him, um, has been hospitalized for 21 days. He was intubated for 11. He suffered a respiratory arrest. He suffered a cardiac arrest. There were some days where his prognosis was not very optimistic. Around day 10, they told us that he had less than a 50% chance to survive this. And today, no oxygen. He's breathing on his own. Amen. This is him, right? <laughs> that is him. Amen. Okay. Um, it's been 21 days of what I envision hell being like, um, not being able to see him, not being able to hear his voice. Um, there have been some darker days than others, um, but he is the first patient in his hospital to be successfully extubated and survive. Um, to hear his doctor say that he's a miracle, that his recovery is remarkable, just goes to show how powerful and wonderful our God is. Yes, we um, are so thankful. You know, Carmina, we heard the word because Dr. Aguero was sending us text messages and emails and updates and saying, you must pray for this dear member of ours. He's a young man, a young family, active in the church. We love him, pray. And so the word went out and people everywhere were praying for your brother, Andres. We are so grateful. Your love, your prayer, your support, the fasting has upheld us in the darkest of times. And today I'm happy to share with you that we were able to FaceTime with him. We were able to see his face and hear his voice. And it was the most amazing gift that God has given us, aside from his survival, being able to see him today. And we didn't get to speak very much, but, and he's going to require a lot of occupational and physical and cognitive therapy. But the prognosis was that he was going to have to stay in the hospital an additional 14 days to give him medical care. And today, after just two days, he's off oxygen. And they told us that in the next two to three days, he's out of the hospital. Amen. <laughs> Miraculous. Yeah. This is the difference between CNN and VNL. We can say, amen, praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> praise the Lord. And to hear his doctors say, he is a miracle. He is a miracle. You know, he's, he shouldn't be with us today is what a doctor told me this morning. There's yeah. no reason why he should be here, but he is because God defies science. He defies medicine. Yeah. Amen. 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 Oh, Carmina, <laughs> what a testimony. Would you please make sure to give him our love? Thank you. Our support and let him know that his prayer warriors in the Columbia Amen. Union and beyond are still praying. And Thank we're you. thankful for this because even in the midst of hearing the difficult reports today of others who have past um we see this as a glimmer of hope okay god is with us in this storm Amen. and we are not alone and i thank you for bringing that testimony to us